Alright, hey everybody, PC Attic 365 here with you again, and today I'm going to be showing you how to enable CUDA cores in Adobe Premiere, C Premiere Pro CS6. Uh, if you're like me and you just got your uh, new GTX 680 graphics card and you want to add a video with it, um, you'll find out that Premiere Pro CS6 does not currently support the GTX 680 or 670. Um, but there is a way around it, so I figured I'd show you guys how to enable CUDA cores for Adobe Premiere Pro CS6. So, here's a quick look at how to do it. First, you want to Google CUDA Hack CS6. Okay, so Google that. That'll bring you up with your list of uh, search results. You want to click on the first result, which should be something like Studio One Productions, um, something or other, and then uh, Adobe Premiere CS5, I believe it's called. So click on the first link. And once you do that, you want to uh, scroll down to the bottom and then click on the little link that says like next page, the little icon, I guess. So once you scroll down to that and click on next page, um, you'll want to scroll down again almost all the way to the bottom, not quite. You'll be up a little ways on the page, but you'll see where it says uh, CUDA EXE. Um, you're going to want to save that to your computer and then run that file. So once you uh, run that file, it'll ask you what version of Adobe Premiere you have, you'll have to either press uh, 1, 2, 3, or 4, just look at it, select which one you have, and then it does the rest automatically from there. So that's it. You exit that program, and then uh, start up Adobe Premiere Pro CS6, go into your preferences, and enable uh, Mercury Playback Engine, or your uh, CUDA cores as it's called. And that should be it. And CUDA core should be enabled and you should be all set to go. So, all right, hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, favorite, like, subscribe, and share with all your friends. Appreciate it, guys. PC Attic 365. I'm out of here.